This time it's about my love of hentai since middle school. Since I was 13, I was crazy about playing Togomeki Memorial Ren'ai Simulation Game, released by Konami. From here on, I'll call this game the nickname Toki Memma. In this game, you will be in love with various fictional girls. It's not a harem game made for men. In fact, I think this game is still more severe and cruel than it really is. First of all, Toki Memo has a really troublesome system to increase parameters. The protagonist is a normal boy high school student who has just entered Kirameki High School and initially has low parameters like many games. Parameters such as national language, mathematics, sports, trivia, appearance, arts are complicatedly divided. At the opening of this game, Kirameki High School legend is inserted. It is a story that, under the legendary tree in the schoolyard of this high school, the boy who was confessed to love by a girl at the graduation ceremony can both be a happy couple forever. In other words, the ultimate purpose of this game is that the target heroine makes a confession of love on the day of graduation so the player himself cannot make a confession of love. The heroines naturally have their own favorite boy type, but the player has to train himself to be the man who matches his target girl. Each time you make a point of attracting yourself, the player gets attention from another heroine and you have to make a good date with those girls. And the favorability system makes this game really thrilling. A girl who hasn't dated for three months hates the player and makes her rumors bad. If that happens, the players will be less likable to all of the heroines. I fell in love with Nijino Saki-san, the most popular heroine of this game and cleared her only. Nijino-san belongs to a baseball club or a soccer club and always supports me. Yes, she is still my wife, by the way. Nijino Saki means over the rainbow in English and Sachiko Sugawara, the voice actor who plays her role, released an album with the same name as the singer. Also, Niji means Nijikin in Japanese, that is the heroine of fiction, and she was a symbolic presence for me. And in the unforgettable summer of 1997, Konami released the first PlayStation game, Tokomeki Memorial Drama Series Volume 1 Nijiro no Saishin, with her as the main heroine. This is a hero who aims for a regular belonging to the soccer club. It is a sub-store game where you spend several weeks while being supported by Nijino San. This game has a simple system, but the production and the scenario are wonderful, as I learned later. This game was supervised by Hideo Kojima, who is famous for the Metal Gear series. I used to play Toki Memo in front of my classmate's cousin girl who looked at me with envy. She asked me, why do you just aim at Nijino, San? I answered, I like her. Then she said to me, I don't have to say that clearly. Since then, she and I have been estranged, by the way. I have never used the word hentai in this story. Sure, Toki Memo is a consumer game and there is no sex element. Although there are a few service scenes, however, hentai also had a meaning like a guy who is lazy in fiction at the time, so it can be said that all of this story belongs to hentai. Of course when I was in junior high school, I was watching a lot of arrow manga and arrow anime. This is the first time I saw arrow anime. I can't forget the impact of people at Nanamura Hospital. From that time, the existence of Arrowgate was well known in Windows 98 and Sega Saturn, but they were too expensive for most junior high school students at that time. Elf and Alice Soft that still exists. We're making a lot of money with their expensive Arrowgate. Now, let's talk a little seriously. However, I don't know much about transgender or asexuality, so I put off that phenomenon. Even now and in the past, the average age of Japanese first sex experiences is around high school students. However, in the current internet society, the situation is quite different. Boys and girls are divided into those who like sex and those who like masturbation. Boys and girls who like sex can quickly find the other person by chatting, etc. And contraceptives are now easily available. 
They often have their first sex experience at a very young age. These kids' sex friends are quite problematic in Japan today. Japanese TV is now all about health maintenance and supplement advertising programs for the elderly. Sex friends between kids are unlikely to be a problem on Japanese conservative TV news. So when it comes to TV, I only watch world news. Contrary to that, boys and girls who like masturbation with images and videos including hentai. As I said before, the old Japanese slang term for masturbation is called sensory. The image for masturbation is sensory no tamino neta. In Japanese it is abbreviated as zuraneta. Japanese kids, including current girls, make hentai zuraneta or they're happy with having Zoraneta, where they show masturbation to each other in chat. Today's Japanese kids are roughly divided into the two types I introduced. Certainly, even my generation experienced sex with kids and I have petted a few girls. Even for me, hentai was better. Because real girls don't get what they want. In this way, the younger generation of Japanese people are divided into two types, those who experience sex with kids and those who are always virgin. In other words, the fact that there are many boys and girls who experience sex in high school is only the statistics of Japan and it is actually decreasing. The problem was probably invisible and must have been exacerbated for a long time. Even I like hentai. When I was in high school, I really wanted to have sex with a classmate. But another problem hampered it. Among the female high school students when I was in school, there was a movement called Kogiaru in Japan at that time. Most high school girls wore fancy makeup, loose socks, and super mini skirts enough to see panties. And they carried luxury brand shoes bags and accessories to show off. There were more girls in my high school, 70% of girls, 30% of boys. I witnessed the Kogiaru panties 20 times a day. Do you feel envious of that? Rather, I overlooked their panties, so I was almost never sexually excited. And Japan has the problem of Enko, which has continued since then. This is, so to speak, a sexual intercourse with an elderly man who is likely to have a lot of money, at the will of the girls. Prostitution by the girls' own will, of course, I know that there were very few such girls. But in my high school, where 70% of girls are, such bitches were too conspicuous. As a healthy male high school student, I never fell in love with bitch. The Kogiaru girls at the time said to us boys of the same age, You guys, if you have the money, I'll fuck you. Will such a bitch have a romance? Today's Japanese high school students have another problem. Even if they don't like hentai, they tend to have communication disorder because they are used to VR too much or because they have been familiar with SNS etc. since they were kids. Even if they are not obstacles, they are simulating reality somewhere too much, and they have very few options. When they talk to someone face to face, they'll be incomprehensible and confused if they're out of a certain format. If that happens, it's still difficult for them to communicate even if they're not of the opposite sex. Even modern Japanese girls tend to have communication problems, or Girls tend to be disappointed with boys of the same age who have communication problems and tend to be enthusiastic about hentai and VR, and some girls lose interest in real love. The famous Japanese anime director Yoshiyuki Tamino for Gundam has been afraid of this all the time. However, he is a radical man, and he says, I will kill such a young man, or the Japanese female device slang Amanko in an interview. Therefore, Tamino has never appeared in Japanese media either now or in the past. We boys don't understand, but there are girls who are crazy about gay hentai between handsome guys such as boys love yaoi, which has almost the same meaning. Yaoi is a slang that takes the initials of Yamanashi, Ochinashi, Aminashi in Japanese. When translated into English, no climax, no point, no meaning in Japan, shoujo manga which has such a tendency, has been popular among girls since the 1970s. What I said right now is sometimes drawn in the manga Watamote. 
that manga seems to be popular overseas. Actually, I think that Japanese students today are at that level, but I think that the main character is still better at paying attention to people and wanting to interact with them. There are an enormous number of students in Japan today who do not want anyone to pay attention and do not want to associate with anyone. In other words, reality may be worse than Watamote, whatever. Today, I just make hentai, zurinetta, and sensory.